Hi everyone! We started our online classes last August 2020. Since then, I've been looking for online tools that can help me and my students better understand our lessons. The online tools that we've been using are really useful, functional, and tremendously helpful. I have uploaded some tutorial videos about those tools, which you may find in my channel. For this video, I am going to focus on the things that will add, extend, or improve the existing features of Google Chrome Web Browser. What I'm referring to is Chrome Extension. Today, I would like to share to everyone what are the extensions that have been extremely helpful to me while conducting online classes. I am to share eight of them. I am also going to show how to install and where and when I usually use them. The first Chrome extension in my list is called Screencastify. This is actually the first Chrome extension I ever used. I am using this when I need to record a video of myself discussing a lesson or demonstrating in a tutorial video, just like this. To download, I will go to Chrome browser, then search for Chrome Web Store. From the results page, select the Chrome Web Store. On this page, write the name of the extension, which in this case is Screencastify. Then click the image to read more details and reviews. The beauty of this extension is it is free and you can enjoy unlimited recordings with 5 minutes each and the result doesn't have a watermark. To install, I simply click the Add to Chrome button. I will wait until the download is completed. I will close this pop-up box. For me to see the extension always on the upper right corner of the browser, I will click and select the pin symbol. I am going to click the Screencastify icon. And I am going to log in using my Gmail account. I can record the entire screen, specific tab, or myself using the camera. To record, I will go to the extension icon and press the record button. Once done recording, I will go back to the extension icon and press the stop symbol. A new tab will appear where I can download MP4 for video, MP3 for audio, and GIF for animation. I can even directly share it to Google Classroom, publish to YouTube, and get embed code which we can put if we are manually coding our own website. You know what? Even if I don't download these, it's fine because the video and audio are automatically saved to Google Drive. From there, I can get the share link and distribute the link to my teacher friends and students. The second Chrome extension is called Colorzilla. I use this whenever I need to get a specific color that I will be using in my material. After installation, I will also pin this to appear in my browser. Let me show one example on how to use this. First, I will click the Colorzilla icon, then click Color Picker. Then click on top of the color that I want. For example, I want this color in this image. The color will be saved to the clipboard. Then, let's say... I will use the color to a shape in my Google Slides file. I will click the Fill Color tool and select Custom. Then paste the copied color and click OK. Now we can see the color has been used to fill the shape. The third Chrome extension is intended for Google Meet. 
I will open my Google Meet first to show the screen. Currently, this is how it looks. This extension that I am going to share is called Nod Reactions. I will install it by going to Chrome Web Store and searching for Nod. After adding to Chrome, I will refresh my Google Meet for the new extension to take effect. For best results, both the teachers and students should add this extension. This extension allows me to send emojis to my students when they are reciting or reporting in our synchronous meetings. My students can also use this when they would like to raise their hand. The fourth is another extension intended for Google Meet. This is called Google Meet Grid View. I am going to follow the same process for adding the extension. We go to the Chrome Web Store, search for the extension, then press the Add to Chrome button. It is also best to pin the extension to easily see it. I will refresh my Google Meet for the new extension to take effect. As of September 5, 2020, Google Meet can show 16 videos total at once. I have 20 to 40 students per class, so I really need to have a view of more than 16. I use this extension to view all of my students. I also use this to include my video beside my students, which is best whenever there's a need to screenshot our meeting. The good thing about GridView is that it gives you an option to remove the names of the students before you take a screenshot. Let's continue with the list of helpful Chrome extensions. The fifth one is called Tile Tabs. I will search in the Chrome Web Store and select the Tile Tabs WE. I will use the Add to Chrome button to initiate the installation. I will also pin this to the browser. How do I use this? For example, I have six tabs in this Chrome window. I will right click the tile tab symbol, new layout, and the six tabs option. As you can see, all of the tabs are now being shown on the screen. To bring all of this back to one window only, I will just right click the tile tab symbol and select close layout. The sixth Chrome extension is called mute tab. I will search and install this in my Chrome web store. I will pin to Chrome Browser 2 for easier access. Let's say I am in a meeting in Google Meet and I want to mute it for the meantime. 
I just simply click the extension symbol to mute, then select it again to unmute. The seventh Chrome extension is called Google Docs Offline. This is very useful when we have slow internet connection and we are still required to use Google Drive, Docs, Sheets, and Slides. I actually didn't find it in the Chrome Web Store when I searched it. The step I did for it to be installed is through Google Drive. Let me show you how. I will choose Settings. On the window, click the checkbox for Offline Feature. Notice that the pop-up window appears. I will click the Install button. I was directed to Chrome Web Store. Here, I will be able to add to Chrome this required extension. Next, I will go to Google Docs to activate this feature. On this page, I will click the three bar symbol or the menu icon. On this pop-up window, I will click the toggle button to enable the offline feature to Docs, Sheets, and Slides. Remember that once we enable it in the Docs settings, the feature for sheets and slides will be automatically activated. In the same manner, when we disable it in any of the applications, all of them will be disabled too. The eighth Chrome extension that has been very useful to me as it makes my materials visually appealing is called Bitmoji. To use this extension, we must first have an account in its mobile application. You may download it in Android's Play Store or iPhone's App Store. I have a video that demonstrates how to do it in an Android phone. Please watch that in this tutorial or by going to the link that I added in the description of this video. After creating a Bitmoji account in the mobile application, let's go to the Chrome Web Store and search for Bitmoji. I will click the Add to Chrome button, wait for its installation to complete, I will log in using my email address and password. then I will be able to use it. The good thing about the Bitmoji Chrome extension is it has a transparent background. I will just simply click the Bitmoji character then drag it to the working area like Google Slides. Those are the eight Chrome extensions that I have been using since the first day of my online classes. They are extremely helpful to me and my students. If you have Chrome extensions that you've been using, please let us know by writing in the comments section. Let us help one another for the success of our online classes during this unique time. Thank you very much to all of you for your immense support. I really appreciate you watching and subscribing to my channel. I promise to provide quality video content. If this video is useful, please consider liking and sharing this video to your friends. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button and press the bell button to be notified when I upload a new video.